everybody, uh, I am Megan and I am half of Galpash and I'm just making this quick video because uh, a couple weeks ago I made a video on how important Klexa representation is for our community and uh, yeah so much for that. For the past week you know I've been really struggling with you know should I continue to watch the show should I not continue to watch the show you know how am I going to really move forward with with this storyline, um, uh, we, we've come to the decision that we are not going to continue watching the show and making the videos for it. Um, or if we do watch, we are not going to watch live because we don't want to contribute to the ratings of the show. And there's a lot, I'm, I'm going to get a lot of flack for that because, you know, a lot of people don't want to see the show canceled. But I have nothing against the actors. If anything, I have nothing but love for the actors and the staff and the writers who have done nothing but be supportive of us and who have, you know, been there for us for this entire time. And I don't even hold the writers accountable because at the end of the day, it's the showrunner who makes the decisions, and that's Jason. So the only person I hold accountable for the possibility of the show canceling is Jason. Because when you think about it, this is a business. Entertainment is a business. Throughout the past almost 10 months or so, or more or less, give or take, the architects of the show have made it so that the LGBT community, particularly, of course, you know, lesbians, have been drawn in like a beacon, like a, like like the hundred for the past year has been like a lighthouse for you know young queer girls everywhere because we see Lexa and we see the, her relationship with Clark and we go holy shit this is amazing and they've pushed it they've gone forward and they've encouraged and they've touted how amazing that they're treating this relationship and how amazing their representation is. And for a while it was. For a while, like, the character development of Lexa and Clark and their emerging relationship and their interaction and the slow burn was so well written and it was so beautifully developed. And for a short period of time, we had something amazing. And by doing that, the show has, in effect, created the most cohesive, loyal fandom I have ever seen or been a part of. And I am extremely proud to be a part of it because it is truly a beautiful community to be a part of. However, when you make a decision to purposefully traumatize and alienate your most loyal and dedicated fans who would have followed you to the end and defended you to the end. At the end of the day, if you fail, that's your fault because you are literally shooting your own foot by alienating your fans. And it's not that Lexa died because from an objective, because I, I, I am trying to be a writer as well. From an objective point of view, I can understand how sometimes a very vital character has to die. My wife is home. Hi. So where was I? I got lost. You broke my chain of thought. I'm sorry. I love you. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> um, but yes, Lexa. It's it's not that Lexa died because, like I said, from an objective point of view, I can understand how a vital character can sometimes have to die in order to merge two plot lines to further the story. Um, the issue that I think most people have at this point is that the manner in which they have taken such a well-developed and important character to the queer community and killed her off in the most cheap, stereotyped way, not only insulting to the entire fandom and, and all of our this community, but it has reopened a wound that has been within our community for such a long time that the show for a while had been healing for a lot of people because we saw an avenue of hope through the show of having really good writing and really good representation and in one episode they completely destroyed everything. <sighs> it's 
see. But yeah. Um, but so we're going to boycott the show when we really aren't going to continue watching it. Um, through this movement, if the show ends up getting canceled, at the end of the day, it's not because of us. It's because Jason chose to actively alienate and re-traumatize a huge loyal portion of his fans. So I'm probably gonna get flack for it. I'm probably gonna get hate because you know, you know, we're taking steps to to damage a show, damage a show. Um, but essentially, it, think of it this way: if someone who you love and trust slaps you on the face and you defend yourself, but then it's turned around on you like you're the bad person for going after the person who slapped you, that's not fair. Like, that's not a very good thing to attack someone for. I've also heard the argument that, well, Lexa dying was just another example of equality because straight characters die all the time. Okay. And I heard a rebuttal in the most amazing analogy possible on Tumblr, where imagine a straight person and imagine a queer person each holding a plate of cookies. The straight person has a shit ton of cookies on their plate. The queer person has one cookie. One. Both plates have one cookie removed. The queer person now has zero cookies. The straight person still has a shit ton of cookies. And they're like, well, it's just equal. We're, we're equal now. It's equality, right? No. no. No, it's not. You're, you're a fucking asshole. And there are people out there who would complain that the queer person is getting more cookies on their plate. Like, why do you have to get all these cookies? God. Anyway, enough of the cookie references. Um, you're making me hungry, honey. I know. I want some cookies now. I know. God damn it. But like I said, we even though we are boycotting the show and we are no longer going to uh, be a part of... Um, the actively viewing fandom, we are, I, 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 Rachel is more just kind of along for the ride. Um, I, I am very, very proud to be a part of this fandom still of the Klexa, Lexa crew, Klexa crew, uh, fandom. And I love all of you guys and you're amazing. And this is the most beautiful community I think I've ever uh, been a part of. Um, but we do not condone sending any hate or rude or mean messages to the actors, to the staff, or to the writers. Because that is completely uncalled for, and we don't condone that. I do support sending shit to Jason, because he's a fucking asshole. So if you're gonna go after someone, and don't, I mean, and don't do it like, you know, really rude or mean or anything, but let him know he fucked up. Cookie? Here's your cookie, honey. Okay. Lesbians can get their cookies, too. Lesbians can get their cookies, too! <laughs> Technically, it's a graham cracker. With frosting. You know, I didn't want to break into the Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. I tried. It's delicious. It. You know what? Sometimes sometimes we get graham crackers instead of cookies Sometimes. In our sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. No. <laughs> But anyway, so, um, and also while you're at it, please donate to the uh, Trevor Project. Um, uh, Les Crew has uh, created a group within the Trevor Project to um, help fund LGBT support services for uh, gay youths. And so please donate. I know I have already. We have, Rachel, we've donated. Toward the Trevor Project, so we encourage that. Um, if you have no idea what we're talking about, about the whole lesbian death troop and kill, kill, kill your gays troop, uh, I'm putting in a link at the bottom in the um, description, which pretty much maps out a more detailed uh, explanation of why we're so angry. Trope. Not troop. No. Trope. Words. Um, but yeah, so please feel free to read that. I know a lot of straight people have no idea that this even exists. So please, if you're an ally and you think that you're being excluded from this, please feel free to educate yourself. Um, I know even my sister had no idea. My sister and brother-in-law had no idea what the lesbian trope was. So, um, I sent them this article to read. Uh, so I encourage you to read that. Um, but yeah, if you're with us, don't watch the show. 
don't tweet them, don't reblog their tags, and Jason can go fuck himself. Or go float himself. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, so tonight, uh, when we would normally be watching The 100, we are going to be scrapbooking our happy queer lives together in our little new scrapbook that we got, because it doesn't get any more gay than that! I approve of that message. <laughs> I support her 100%. <laughs> anyway, I'm Megan. I'm Rachel. And this is Gal Patch. We're going to make more videos in the future of other shit. If there are other shows that you want us to review, uh, let us know, because there are more shows other than, other than the 100 that's out there. True. So we're trying to catch up with person of interest right now. So yeah, yeah. everyone have a good one. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.